Ghost Halo. Today I'm going to share with you a script that I've used in several of my missions and I'm going to show you how to implement it into your own mission. Before we use the script we actually need to create a little mission in order to demonstrate it. So let's go to the editor. We're going to go to Stratus and then we're going to go to the map and we're going to go down to Camp Tempest. All right, here we are at Camp Tempest and what we're going to do is we're going to place down a grenadier and face him this way. Then we're going to go to props and we're going to type in whiteboard and we're going to choose the whiteboard with the map of Stratus because we are on Stratus. Okay, we have this little mission set up. That's all we need to do for that at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this mission. So saving the mission will create a folder for us to put the script in. And we're going to name this mission ghost underscore Halo. Okay, now that the mission is saved, we're going to go to the mission folder and put the mission script in and we're going to take a look at some of the code in the script. Okay, we are in the mission folder of the little mission that we created, Ghost Halo Stratus. Here is the mission SQM and here is the script Ghost Halo. Let's open up the script and let's take a look at some of the functions and features. So this top line where it says Ghost Halo, this is the only thing that you have to put into your mission, which I'll show you after we go through the script. So that's the add action that calls the script into action. Now there are a few parameters that you can adjust, which is these three. Actually, there is a fourth, but so for example, this one right here, that's actually text. That's what you'll see on the screen when you walk up to the whiteboard, you'll see solo halo. So you can change this to whatever you want. Ideally, I would recommend that you change it in game and then I'll show you that, but I'm just pointing this out for the moment. Now this first parameter you could find on this line here. So when it says false, that means this code is for the player only so whatever player walks up to the whiteboard and accesses the code basically they can halo if you set it for true if you change false to true that means your whole group so if you command AI your whole group will be able to halo at once like you the only problem I found with that is they do halo but they don't have any parachutes so I don't know what's what the deals with that it's not probably not coded in or something I don't know but it does work for the player the second line right here the second parameter right here is 600 that's what I set that's 600 meters off the ground so that's this line here altitude of halo jump so basically when you click on the map you'll be at 600 meters off the ground up in the air so you can change this number to whatever you want. You could change it to 800, you could change it to 1000, you can change it to 2000, whatever number you, that you want. I would recommend to keep the number not too low, like you don't want to go, really don't want to go any lower than maybe 400 meters. So I mean, it really all depends on your mission, what you're trying to accomplish. Let's go to the next parameter. The next parameter says 100, and for that, that's this here. And what that is, is this is the altitude, 100 is 100 meters off the ground for an auto shoot, which means that when you're haloing down from 600 meters or whatever number that you have set, that you're, once you reach 100 meters above the ground, then your, uh, your parachute will automatically deploy. So if you're falling, you won't have to worry about deploying your chute unless you want to. So it's up to you. Now, if we go further down, basically when you click on the whiteboard and initiate the action to want to halo, this will be the first thing that you see. Like the map will come up and this will be the first thing that you see. 
it'll say left click on the map where you want to insert so you can change this if you want you just change what's what you see here in the quotes and it'll display on the screen in game of course if we scroll down a little bit further this is also another thing if you cancel the jump then it'll say this but if you go through it nothing will happen if we scroll down further while you're deployed in halo you'll have the option to open your chute manually so you'll have this in your action menu so you can change this to say open your chute or shoot or you could just leave it as it is it's up to you this part right here uh, group chat once you've deployed in halo this as you're in halo as soon as you have been deployed you're haloing then you'll get this message if you want to not have this message then just just to remove this line in the script and it won't show up anymore and coming down going down further you'll see a playing shoot that's at the start so just remember uh, you can change these numbers and I'll show you that once we get in game what we need to do to make this script work is we need to copy this code right here just what I have highlighted so press control C or highlight it and right click it and then hit copy and that'll copy the code to your computer's clipboard okay we're back in the editor and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up to the whiteboard we're gonna double click the whiteboard and we're gonna go to the INIT box here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press control V which will paste the code that we copied from the script into the INIT box we're gonna go over a couple things real quick which we already did so here in the code and this is where you want to change it this is the text that you see on the screen when you want to go to Halo. You could change this to Halo or go to Halo or whatever you want to say. But basically, this is the text that you see on the screen when you want to choose to go Halo. And then, of course, we have the other three parameters. So false is basically for the player only. This is if you set it to true, it'll be for the group. I wouldn't recommend true because for some reason it doesn't work correctly I, I don't I don't know why I mean your group does halo but there's no parachutes on them so you're basically sending them to their deaths <laughs> this is your halo height so if you want to increase that to like say a thousand meters up in the air then or more you could do that and then of course this is your automatic shoot deployment if you set to zero then obviously you won't have shoot deployment because you'll end up deploying your shoot when you hit the ground so that's not realistic so uh, I would recommend 100 as a base to automatically deploy your shoot if you're going to use that if you don't want to use it set to zero if you want to increase it then increase the number so just remember that this is 100 meters off the ground at, at the point at which your parachute will open automatically all right, that's all you have to do just hit ok and then what we're going to do now is we're going to save the mission and we're going to test this out okay on the screen you can see solo halo and in your action menu you'll be able to see solo halo as well like i said you can change what that says and uh, i'll leave that up to you so all you do now is you just go up to your whiteboard press enter or whatever you use to initiate an action and you'll get this message on the screen left click on the map where you want to insert so we're just going to insert ourselves over here so you just click on the map and you'll be up in the air now you'll be floating down like this and in your action menu you'll have the option to open your chute but we're going to auto deploy and we auto deployed at 100 meters so we're going to float down back to the base All right, so when you land, most times your guys will land on his feet and then flop down to his belly, which I don't really care for, but sometimes you'll land on sometimes you'll land on his feet. So that's basically it. Hope you guys find this Halo script useful in your missions and hope this little tutorial here has helped you and has been informative. 
and lastly what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip this mission up and put it on my Google Drive I'll link it in the description of the video so you guys can download it and use the script and check it out alright guys I want to thank you guys for watching I will catch you guys on the next video bye